Why was Albert Finney extra choosy about his roles? One actor with many talents and accolades, Albert Finney was a strong force in the entertainment scene through his decades of an energetic and ever busy movie career. A man that turned down a knighthood, he criticized the system and had five Oscar nominations but never attended its ceremony and was never given a medal. Of course, the no-nonsense actor he was, with vocal opposition to the glitz and glamour that accompanied the industry he served, Finney was extra choosy about his roles. Despite his impressive filmography and critical acclaim, Finney was known for being highly selective about the projects he took on. He often turned down lucrative offers, preferring to focus on roles that challenged him artistically and aligned with his personal values. Finney was not interested in the trappings of fame or the pressure to conform to industry expectations. Instead, he sought out complex, nuanced characters that allowed him to showcase his remarkable range and depth as an actor. Finney's commitment to his craft and his unwavering integrity were evident in the roles he chose. He was drawn to gritty, realistic stories that explored the human condition, often portraying characters who were flawed, complex, and morally ambiguous. This approach allowed Finney to bring a level of authenticity and emotional depth to his performances that captivated audiences and critics alike. Moreover, Finney's refusal to play by the industry's rules and his willingness to speak out against the system's excesses earned him the respect and admiration of his peers. He was a true artist who refused to compromise his vision or his principles, even in the face of pressure to conform. This unwavering dedication to his craft and his refusal to be swayed by the lure of fame or fortune made Finney an inspiration to many in the entertainment industry. In the end, Albert Finney's extra choosiness about his roles was a reflection of his unwavering commitment to his craft and his refusal to be defined by the expectations of the industry. His legacy as a talented and principled actor continues to inspire and influence generations of performers who seek to follow in his footsteps. Albert Finney was a rare icon, a man of great vigor and talent, a wonderful performer, and one of the most legendary stage geniuses that history has ever produced. He managed his fame with remarkable grace, avoiding the Hollywood glamour that often ensnares stars for over half a century. Despite achieving international fame, this British talent remained grounded and focused on his craft. He hit the spotlight in 1963 with his title role in Tom Jones, a performance that catapulted him into the realm of movie sensations. His portrayal was not just a role, it was a defining moment in his career that showcased his incredible range and charisma. Finney continued to shine in classic films, captivating audiences with his performances. Even in more recent years, he left a lasting impression with his role in Aaron Brockovich. Throughout his decades-long career, he enjoyed marathon fame, proving that true talent transcends the fleeting nature of celebrity. Albert Finney, the renowned British actor, made headlines when he declined a request to be consecrated as a Knight of the British Order. Finney, known for his no-nonsense attitude, criticized the system, describing it as perpetuating snobbery. This decision was in line with his character, as he had always been an actor who preferred to let his work speak for itself, rather than seeking personal accolades or recognition. Finney's career spanned over five decades, and he was known for his versatility and commitment to his craft. He began his career on the stage and quickly gained recognition for his talent. In 1960, he made his film debut in The Entertainer, which earned him a nomination for the BAFTA Award for Most Promising Newcomer. This was just the beginning of a long line of accolades for Finney, who would go on to receive four Academy Award nominations throughout his career. Despite his success, Finney remained grounded and true to his beliefs. He was known for turning down roles that he felt were not challenging or interesting enough and was not afraid to speak his mind when it came to the industry. When he was offered a knighthood, he saw it as an attempt to perpetuate a system of snobbery and inequality and chose to decline. Finney's decision to turn down the knighthood was met with both praise and criticism. Some saw it as a bold statement against the system that favored the elite, while others saw it as a missed opportunity for recognition. However, Finney remained steadfast in his decision and continued to focus on his work. Throughout his career, Finney was known for his powerful performances and his ability to bring complex characters to life. He starred in a wide range of films, from period dramas like Tom Jones and Annie to modern thrillers like Miller's Crossing and The Bourne Ultimatum. He also had a successful career on the stage and was known for his work in Shakespearean productions. In addition to his work as an actor, Finney was also a director and producer. He directed several films, including Charlie Bubbles and The Dresser, 
and produced a number of others. He was known for his dedication to his craft and was always looking for new and interesting projects to work on. Despite his many accomplishments, Finney remained humble and down to earth. He was known for his kindness and generosity and was always willing to help others in the industry. He was a mentor to many young actors and was respected and admired by his peers. In the end, Albert Finney's decision to turn down a knighthood was a testament to his character and his beliefs. He was an actor who was committed to his craft and who was not afraid to speak his mind. He will always be remembered for his powerful performances and his dedication to his art. Nonetheless, despite his five Oscar nominations, Albert Finney made it clear that he had no interest in the glitz and glamour associated with the awards. He never attended any of the ceremonies, nor did he ever win a single Oscar trophy. Finney's disinterest in the pomp and circumstance of the Academy Awards was well known, as he preferred to focus on his craft rather than the trappings of Hollywood stardom. Throughout his illustrious career, the acclaimed actor remained steadfast in his refusal to participate in the award season festivities, content to let his performances speak for themselves. Although his Tom Jones film role was a huge breakthrough movie, Albert Finney is celebrated for much more than that. His performance in this film immediately captured the attention of audiences and critics alike, marking the beginning of a remarkable acting career. Finney's versatility allowed him to shine in various genres. He starred in Murder on the Orient Express, where his compelling presence and acting skills contributed to the film's success, further solidifying his reputation as a talented actor. In addition to this iconic role, he delivered a powerful performance in The Dresser, showcasing his ability to convey deep emotions and complex characters. His portrayal in Under the Volcano added to his stature as an actor capable of tackling challenging and intense roles. Throughout his fruitful career, each of these performances led to Oscar nominations, reflecting the high regard in which he was held in the film industry. Finney's body of work highlights his range and dedication as an artist, making him an enduring figure in cinema. Throughout his career, Albert Finney made distinctive choices regarding the roles he accepted. He turned down several juicy opportunities that other renowned actors would have jumped at. While many in his generation eagerly sought the fame and fortune that Hollywood offered, Finney's preferences leaned towards theater, where he felt more at home. His decision to prioritize stage work reflected a commitment to his craft that few could match. Critics often noted that he succeeded on his own terms, emphasizing the respect and admiration he garnered without relying on mainstream movie roles. Finney's skill and charisma shone through in the projects he chose, showcasing his ability to deliver nuanced performances that resonated deeply with audiences. This focus on quality over quantity set him apart from many of his contemporaries and cemented his legacy as a performer who valued substance in his artistic expression. His unique path in the performing arts invites admiration and respect as he navigated an industry often swayed by the allure of commercial success. Versatile in his talent, Albert Finney expertly portrayed a diverse range of characters throughout his illustrious career. From depicting Pope John Paul II to the iconic Winston Churchill, Finney seamlessly transitioned between roles, never being pigeonholed into a single type. His ability to embody a Southern American lawyer, an Irish gangster, and even an 18th century scoundrel with equal aplomb showcased his remarkable versatility. Finney carefully selected his roles, ensuring that each performance was a unique and captivating interpretation, never failing to impress audiences with his transformative abilities. His versatility was the hallmark of his craft, allowing him to tackle a wide array of complex and challenging characters with unparalleled skill and dedication. Perhaps he was not comfortable stagnating in one typecast, which is why Albert Finney regularly changed his character type. His career showcased a remarkable versatility that kept audiences engaged and surprised. One moment, he was performing Shakespeare, bringing the depth and complexity of classic literature to life on stage. The next, he was dazzling audiences in musicals, showcasing his singing and dancing talents. This ability to shift between genres was evident in his portrayal of iconic characters, such as Scrooge in the musical adaptation of Charles Dickens' classic tale, and Daddy Warbucks and Annie. These roles highlighted his range and willingness to embrace different styles of performance. Finney's approach to acting allowed him to avoid being pigeonholed into a single type of character, demonstrating his commitment to exploring the full spectrum of his craft. His career choices reflect a desire to challenge himself and keep his performances fresh and exciting for both himself and his audience. Renowned for his versatility 
and acclaimed as an acting genius, Albert Finney was a true chameleon on the silver screen. Despite his celebrated status as the king of kitchen sink drama, Finney famously refused to take on the role in the 1978 film Death on the Nile, which was ultimately portrayed by Peter Ustinov. This decision only added to Finney's reputation as an actor who followed his own path, unbound by the expectations of others. Throughout his illustrious career, Finney seamlessly transitioned between diverse genres and characters, showcasing his remarkable range and adaptability. Whether he was captivating audiences with his gritty, naturalistic performances, or enchanting them with his charismatic charm, Finney's talent was universally recognized, cementing his place as one of the most revered and versatile actors of his generation. Having done several television roles, Albert Finney made his first big screen appearance in the drama film The Entertainer, as directed by Tony Richardson. Born in Salford, Lancashire, Finney's parents, Alice and Albert Finney, did their best to position him for greatness. After primary education at Salford Grammar School, and subsequently the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Finney groomed his talent before entering the industry. Born in 1936, in Salford, England, Albert Finney was the descendant of a bookmaker. Growing up on the outskirts of Manchester in Northern England was not an easy path, but Finney, like many working-class children, took his destiny into his own hands when he became inspired to enter the world of cinema. Despite his humble beginnings, Finney's talent and determination propelled him to become one of the most acclaimed and versatile actors of his generation, known for his powerful performances in a wide range of roles. From his early breakthrough in the kitchen sink drama Saturday Night and Sunday Morning to his acclaimed portrayals of iconic figures like Winston Churchill and Hercule Puerau, Finney's career spanned decades and earned him numerous accolades, including multiple Academy Award nominations. His ability to seamlessly transition between gritty, working-class characters and sophisticated upper-class roles demonstrated his remarkable range and depth as an actor. Finney's unwavering commitment to his craft and his refusal to be pigeonholed into a single type of role made him a true icon of British cinema. Eric Sims, the headmaster of Albert Finney's school, played a crucial role in recognizing Finney's talent at a young age. He noticed the spark of creativity and passion in Finney, which led him to encourage the young actor to pursue his dreams in the world of drama. This early recognition was significant, as it helped shape Finney's future in acting. It is said that Finney's restless nature was evident even as a child and those around him, including Eric, could see that he had a unique gift. This insight from Sims was pivotal, as it directed Finney towards attending a celebrated drama school, where he could hone his skills and develop his craft. Finney himself acknowledged the importance of Sims in his life, stating that Eric is the reason he became an actor. This connection highlights how influential mentors can be in nurturing talent and guiding young individuals toward their true calling. The encouragement, and belief from someone like Eric Sims can make a lasting impact on a young person's journey, leading them to achieve great things in their chosen field. While studying at RADA, Albert Finney took his first steps into the world of acting by appearing in a television show. He portrayed the character of Mr. Hardcastle in Oliver Goldsmith's classic play, She Stoops to Conquer. This performance was significant, as the BBC decided to air it after capturing a live performance at a London theatre. The exposure Finney gained from this early role was considerable, showcasing his talent to a wider audience and laying the groundwork for his future career in acting. By the time he completed his studies at RADA, he had already made a name for himself. This early experience made it easier for him to join the Royal Shakespeare Company. Finney's journey into professional acting was marked by this pivotal moment, where he transitioned from a student to a recognized performer on a prominent stage, indicating the promising road ahead in his illustrious career. His passion and dedication to the craft started to shine through even in those formative years, setting the stage for the legendary roles he would later portray. Soon critics were addressing Albert Finney as the new Laurence Olivier in town. His commanding presence on stage and screen captivated audiences and critics alike. Finney's performances brought a fresh energy to the British theatre, and many noted how he seemed to cheer up the British stage with his talent. Notable columnists and cinema critics of British extraction began to label the young Finney as a smoldering young Spencer Tracy, drawing comparisons that highlighted his ability to convey deep emotion and complexity in his roles. This rising star did not go unnoticed by his contemporaries. Famous British actor Richard Burton was warned about the advent of a promising competition in the person of Albert Finney. 
The excitement surrounding Finney's career suggested that he was not just another actor, but a significant talent who could stand shoulder to shoulder with the greats of his time. His ability to embody a range of characters with authenticity and depth made him a formidable presence in the industry, and the comparisons to established legends only fueled the anticipation of his future work. When Albert Finney was offered a contract by the Rank organization, he made a bold decision to turn it down. This choice was driven by his desire to perform for the Birmingham Repertory Theatre, a place where he had begun to carve out his acting career. Young and full of energy, Finney was determined to make a name for himself on his own terms. He believed that working in a more intimate and creative environment would allow him to grow as an actor and hone his craft. The Birmingham Rep provided him with the opportunity to take on diverse roles and showcase his talent in front of live audiences. This experience was crucial in shaping his skills and confidence. Finney's commitment to his artistic vision and refusal to conform to the expectations of a major studio demonstrated his passion for acting. He wanted to ensure that his career was built on authenticity and personal fulfillment rather than simply following a conventional path. After doing a broad screen test for the title role in David Lean's epic film Lawrence of Arabia, Albert Finney made the surprising decision to turn down the offer. This choice was significant, and perhaps unexpected given the prestige associated with the film. Finney was aware that the role would be a significant opportunity for fellow Royal Academy of Dramatic Art graduate Peter O'Toole. O'Toole's performance as T.E. Lawrence would ultimately become a defining moment in his career. Despite being in a position where such a role could greatly elevate his own standing in the film industry, Finney did not let it bother him. He seemed to possess a calm confidence and a belief that stardom was inevitable. He held an understanding of his own talents and capabilities, recognizing that there would be many opportunities ahead. Finney was sure he would find roles that matched his ambitions and artistic goals without needing to chase every opportunity that came his way. With this perspective, he remained focused on his own journey in acting, believing that time was on his side. The decision to step back allowed O'Toole to shine in a role that would become iconic while Finney was content in knowing that his own moment would eventually arrive. This attitude reflected a maturity in his approach to acting and the film industry, showing that sometimes stepping away from a glittering opportunity can lead to greater success down the line as the right roles come along. After doing a few productions, Finney made his London stage debut in 1958 with Jane Arden's Play the Party. This significant moment in his career took place under the direction of the renowned actor and director Charles Lawton. Lawton was not only at the helm of the production, but also joined the cast alongside his wife, Elsa Lanchester. Their involvement brought a personal touch to the performance, enriching the atmosphere of the production. The play itself explored themes of human interaction, showcasing Arden's distinct voice and perspective. It was a pivotal experience for Finney, who was then finding his footing as a stage performer. The opportunity to act alongside esteemed figures like Lawton and Lanchester certainly helped shape his approach to acting, and encouraged him to refine his craft. This debut marked the beginning of Finney's illustrious journey in the world of performance, as he went on to become one of the most celebrated actors in theater, film, and television. Albert Finney's career reached new heights with his iconic role in the 1963 film Tom Jones. This movie adaptation of Henry Fielding's classic novel turned Finney into a true movie sensation. He portrayed the cheerful, funny, and carnal 18th century English scallywag with such energetic and captivating performances that audiences couldn't get enough. Finney's lively and lusty blue-eyed performance left moviegoers in awe, creating a fresh leading man for American audiences to admire. His fame skyrocketed, and people couldn't stop talking about his charismatic charm. The film also earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor, further solidifying his status as a Hollywood star. Tom Jones was a major hit for director Tony Richardson, and it took home the coveted Best Picture Oscar that year. The movie's success not only changed Finney's life, but also introduced a new era of filmmaking, blending historical settings with modern storytelling techniques. The impact of Tom Jones on Finney's career was immense. He continued to work in various films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. However, it was his role as Tom Jones that truly resonated with audiences and left an indelible mark in cinema history. As the years went by, Finney's performance in Tom Jones remained a classic example of a perfect casting choice and a timeless portrayal of a beloved literary character. His energetic and charismatic performance brought the story to life, making it a must-watch film for generations to come. 
In conclusion, Albert Finney's career-defining role in Tom Jones not only brought him unprecedented fame, but also solidified his place as a respected and admired actor in Hollywood. The film's success and Finney's captivating performance left a lasting impact on the industry and audiences alike. The financial success of Tom Jones brought immense benefits to Albert Finney. It catapulted him to fame and wealth, providing him with the financial security he needed to pursue his acting career. The young Finney, hailing from a humble background, found himself suddenly wealthy in his 20s. The film's success brought him not only critical acclaim, but also a percentage of the profits, ensuring his financial stability for years to come. This financial windfall allowed him to focus on his craft and continue to make significant contributions to the entertainment industry throughout his illustrious career. Quentin Falk, who wrote an unauthorized biography about Albert Finney, shared insights into the actor's life and personality. Falk noted that the film industry brought Finney many side benefits, highlighting that he is a man who enjoys life beyond acting. Finney has a passion for wine and cigars, which reflects his appreciation for the finer things in life. He is known for being his own man, making choices that resonate with his personal values and desires. This independence and zest for life are qualities that Falk found admirable. Finney's approach to both his career and personal life showcases a balance that many aspire to achieve. His ability to enjoy the pleasures of life while maintaining a successful acting career sets him apart in the industry. Falk's observations reveal a deeper understanding of Finney as not just an actor, but as a person who embraces life fully and authentically. Rather than cashing in on his newfound fame following the success of Tom Jones, Albert Finney instead took an extended leave from the film industry. During this time, he traveled extensively across the United States and Mexico, immersing himself in the local cultures and landscapes. Upon his return to London, Finney continued his acting career on the stage, taking on a variety of challenging roles and showcasing his versatility as a performer. Despite the lucrative film offers that were coming his way, Finney chose to prioritize his personal growth and exploration over the allure of immediate financial gain. This decision ultimately allowed him to maintain his artistic integrity and continue to deliver captivating performances that solidified his reputation as one of the most talented and respected actors of his generation. His boisterous career did not go unnoticed in the media circle, which is why when the news of his death came, almost every reputable media outlet had something to say about his unique acting career. Albert Finney was a remarkable talent, known for his versatility and depth in various roles. Despite being surrounded by the glitz and glamour of celebrity life, he was not your usual party freak of an actor. In fact, someone once described him as a stay-at-home actor. When asked why he preferred his quiet moments over an outgoing lifestyle, he was quoted to have said that it was a long way to go, just to sit in a non-drinking, non-smoking environment on the off chance that his name was called. This perspective highlights his preference for a more subdued existence, valuing personal peace over the chaotic social scene often associated with fame. His choices reflect a deep commitment to his craft and a desire to maintain a sense of normalcy amidst the pressures of the entertainment industry. Albert Finney, the renowned British actor, was known for his incredible talent and his kind personality. Despite being constantly in the spotlight, Finney always tried his best to stay out of the limelight. He was a private person who valued his privacy and preferred to keep his personal life separate from his professional life. Finney's fans praised him for his down-to-earth attitude and his ability to connect with people on a personal level. He was a great actor who had a long and successful career in the entertainment industry. Finney's talent was recognized early on, and he quickly became one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Finney appeared in a wide variety of films, including Tom Jones, Murder on the Orient Express, and Aaron Brockovich. He was nominated for several Academy Awards and won a Tony Award for his work on the stage. Despite his success, Finney remained humble and grounded. He never let his fame go to his head and always stayed true to himself. Finney's lifestyle was simple and unassuming, and he was known for his generosity and kindness towards others. Finney's approach to privacy was admirable, and he set an example for other celebrities to follow. He showed that it was possible to have a successful career in the entertainment industry without sacrificing one's privacy or personal values. In conclusion, Albert Finney was a great actor and a kind and humble person. He was admired by his fans for his talent and his ability to stay out of the limelight. Finney's career and lifestyle are a testament to his dedication to his craft 
and his commitment to his privacy. When it comes to Albert Finney's role selection style, he is known for being quite particular about the projects he chooses. His agent and lawyer, Nigel Bennett, has noted that Finney can be extra choosy regarding the roles he agrees to take on. This selectivity can create challenges for film producers who are eager to work with him. Finney's approach is not just about picking any script. He has a firm stance that he will not even read a script unless the film is fully financed. This policy reflects his desire to ensure that any project he considers is not only serious, but also has the backing to see it through to completion. Such a method of selecting roles highlights his commitment to quality and the importance he places on the production's viability. This careful consideration of roles has contributed to his reputation as a respected and talented actor in the industry, making his choices all the more significant. Albert Finney was a highly successful and acclaimed actor known for his lengthy career and memorable performances. His career spanned several decades, and he left an indelible mark on the film industry with his creative, honest, and constantly compelling performances. Finney first gained recognition for his role in the 1960 film Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, which earned him a BAFTA Award for Best Actor. He continued to receive critical acclaim for his work in films such as Tom Jones, Two for the Road, and Murder on the Orient Express. One of Finney's most memorable roles was in the 23 film Big Fish, where he played the enigmatic and charming father of the protagonist. His performance was widely praised, and he received a nomination for a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor. Throughout his career, Finney was known for his ability to fully immerse himself in his roles, making every film he appeared in worth watching. He was often described as a creative, honest, and constantly convincing actor, and many considered him to be the true benchmark by which other actors were judged. Finney's charm and charisma as an acting prodigy were unmatched, and very few, if any, could square up with his talent. He was a true icon of the film industry, and his legacy will live on for many years to come. In addition to his many film roles, Finney was also a successful stage actor and director. He won several Tony Awards for his work on Broadway, and he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Director for his 1985 film Underneath the Arches. Despite his many accolades, Finney remained humble and down-to-earth throughout his career. He was known for his modesty and his refusal to take himself too seriously and he always remained true to his working class roots. In conclusion, Albert Finney was a truly exceptional actor, known for his lengthy and successful career, his memorable performances, and his ability to captivate audiences with his charm and charisma. He will be warmly remembered and greatly missed by fans and industry colleagues alike. His towering presence in the world of cinema has indeed made Albert Finney a man of principle, admired by many. Finney chose to keep his personal life private, which made fans even more intrigued. He rarely spoke about his life outside of acting. One particularly noteworthy aspect of his character was his reluctance to attend the Academy Awards. Even when he was nominated for the top honors, he believed that it seemed silly to go to such events and beg for an award. This statement reflects his strong sense of self-worth and conviction. He understood the value of his work and did not feel the need to seek validation through accolades. Finney's perspective on awards showcases an individual who was comfortable in his own skin, focused on the craft rather than the trappings of fame. His stance has resonated with many, adding to the admiration he garnered throughout his career. Finney's legacy is not just in the roles he played, but in the principles he upheld. Famously, Albert Finney maintained a healthy cynicism about the British authority, which may not be unconnected to the reason he turned down a knighthood when he had the opportunity to receive the honor. Refusing to be elevated to the honorable status of Sir Albert Finney is considered one of the defining moments of his character, as he did only what he believed was right and did not have faith in such honors. Finney's unwavering stance against the trappings of the British establishment was a testament to his principles and his refusal to be swayed by the allure of titles and accolades. This act of defiance cemented his reputation as an actor who was uncompromising in his beliefs and unwilling to compromise his integrity for the sake of social status or recognition. Finney's decision to decline the knighthood was a bold statement that resonated with many who admired his commitment to his own moral compass, even in the face of the prestigious offer from the British authorities. When confronted on why he had to reject the Sir recognition, Finney wondered why it should be an issue, saying maybe people in America think being a Sir is a big deal. He still believes that everybody should be addressed as Misters, 
as he thinks the Sir thing slightly perpetuates one of England's diseases, which is snobbery. Finney was quoted saying that it makes England old-fashioned, which is not something he is a great fan of. It is known that Albert Finney famously turned down the honor of becoming a commander of the Order of the British Empire before being offered a knighthood. This decision evidently brought him a sense of happiness and fulfillment, as he was not one to seek accolades or titles. Friends and close associates have shared that he enjoyed his wealth in his unique way. Finney had a passion for horse racing that dated back to his childhood. He often reminisced about visiting the racetrack with his father, a tradition that sparked a lifelong interest. His love for racehorses was not merely a hobby, it was a significant part of his life. In addition to racing, Finney had a deep admiration for cars. He was frequently seen cruising around town in his Rolls Royce, with a chauffeur at his service. Dining at high-class restaurants also became a regular enjoyment for him, where he mingled with prominent people at various gatherings. Observers noted that he particularly relished fine wines and gourmet meals, humorously pointing out that this indulgence was evident in his waistline. This aspect of his lifestyle showed how much he appreciated the fruits of his labor, reflecting his unique blend of talent and personal pleasure. Even with his remarkable display of extraordinary talent in critically acclaimed television shows, including his powerful portrayal of the Pope, Finney's private life remarkably remained quiet in the media. He managed to keep a low profile despite the public's interest in his personal affairs. Throughout his career, there were moments when sections of the British press were fascinated by his marriage to the sultry French film icon Anouk Aimé. This interest, however, did not overshadow his work as an actor. Finney became known for his intense performances and commanding presence on stage and screen, enabling him to carve a niche for himself in the entertainment industry. His ability to immerse himself deeply into roles often left audiences in awe, yet his personal life remained largely untouched by the prying eyes of the media. This balance allowed him to maintain a sense of normalcy away from the demands of fame. His relationship with Aimé was a highlight in his life, yet it was often discussed with a sense of reverence rather than gossip. Growing in the shadow of fame, he navigated his professional and personal life with a certain grace that is increasingly rare in today's celebrity culture. The focus remained primarily on his art rather than his private matters, allowing Finney to remain a celebrated figure in British cinema with a strong legacy. Finney's portrayal of a Southern attorney in the film Aaron Brockovich, which also featured Julia Roberts, helped introduce him to a fresh generation of fans. Discussing the movie, Finney said, I think it's a good film. He initially thought that acting as a California lawyer shouldn't be a difficult task, but he soon realized that it was more complicated than he imagined. The on-screen romance between the elderly lawyer and his beautiful young and hostile assistant was a highlight of the film, earning Finney yet another Oscar nod, this time in the Best Supporting Actor category. His performance may have even helped his co-star Julia Roberts to grab her first Best Actress Oscar medal. However, Finney remained resolute in his decision not to attend any Academy Award ceremony, and never did. A move analysts say destroyed his chances of being nominated in the future for cold-shouldering Hollywood's elite community. Throughout his illustrious career, Albert Finney had the privilege of sharing intimate moments with numerous beautiful and renowned women. His first marriage was to actress Jane Wenham, but the union unfortunately ended in divorce after approximately eight years. Finney then found companionship with M.I., a nuclear physicist, though their marriage also ultimately dissolved. However, Finney's most enduring relationship was with his third and final wife, Penelope Delmarge. The couple enjoyed a harmonious partnership for nearly three decades until Finney's passing. Finney also had a son from his initial marriage to Wenham, further enriching his personal life. In addition to his wives, Finney was romantically linked to several other famous ladies, including the iconic Audrey Hepburn, the talented singer-songwriter Carly Simon, and the acclaimed folk musician Joan Baez. He also shared a connection with the acclaimed actress Shelley Winters and the renowned composer Jacqueline Bazette. Finney's ability to captivate and charm these remarkable women speaks to his charismatic presence and the profound impact he had on those around him. His relationships, both marital and otherwise, were a testament to his allure and the profound connections he forged throughout his life. Philly had a magnetic outlook in his private life. He once shared with fans that he was a born flirt, a trait he embraced wholeheartedly. Despite this playful nature, he made it clear that he would never take things further than harmless flirtation. His loyalty and contentment were evident, especially when he spoke about his last marriage, which lasted until his death. 
This relationship seemed to bring him a sense of stability and happiness. He valued the bond he shared with his partner, emphasizing that he found fulfillment in their life together. His perspective on love and commitment reflected a deep appreciation for the connections he formed, showcasing a man who, while charming and flirtatious, understood the importance of loyalty and devotion. This balance between his playful side and his serious commitment to his marriage painted a picture of a man who navigated his personal life with both charm and sincerity. Married to travel representative Penelope Wilton, Albert Finney was in what seemed to be a sustaining marriage. Once he had made his American television debut, he declared in an interview, I often wondered why I am an actor. I think I'm almost watching and balancing, sort of tabulating my own emotions. The only way I can lose myself is when I'm acting. It's a very public form of escape. Following a long battle with cancer, Albert Finney passed away at the age of 82 due to a chest infection. His health had been a concern for years as he faced the challenges that come with such a serious illness. Despite the struggles, Finney's strength and determination shone through his performances, making him one of the cherished figures in the film industry. He brought depth and authenticity to each role, mesmerizing audiences and leaving a remarkable legacy. Finney's contributions to cinema spanned more than five decades, with impactful roles in classic films that highlighted his remarkable acting range. Many admired his fiery spirit and commitment to his craft, both on stage and on screen. His passing not only marks the loss of an extraordinary talent, but also a significant moment in the history of cinema, as fans and fellow actors alike mourn the man who gave so much to the art of storytelling. The impact he had on film and theater will continue to resonate for years to come.